Yeah, right, guys, this is the Studio Harris for my first tutorial on this channel at least. Uh, you'll probably know me from my Harris Effects. I had 650 subscribers, but I've got rid of that account and I'm going on this one. So uh, please subscribe to my new account if you haven't already. It's called the Studio Harris. Uh, just because I want a YouTube partnership and the other one, uh, the other one had a strike on copyright, so on this one, I'm not going to use any copyrighted music. Now I'm just going to do, it's not really a tutorial, it's more of like some quick tips and uh, advice uh, for Cinema 4D. You know, I've got my basic text, the Studio Harris, some caps and a font, and uh, everything's the same down here. And uh, first things first, to change the frames that you have to increase the length of your animation or whatever, just change them down here. You can just put however many frames you want in down here. and then. You move this bar across to see your added uh, frames. Uh, and yeah. But say you want to, to be really accurate and have a look at the individual frames, you know, closely for precise animation, or you wanted a big overview of every single frame, you go to this bar here and you see this little arrow on the right. You drag that along, and here you've got your overview of all the frames you've added, which is what I like to do because it's really easy to control you know your different keyframes and stuff and say you were being really precise you can narrow it down so you you know you're looking at each individual frame so that's that tip and now uh, one thing I just want to start is a lot of you will be playing Call of Duty I know this I know this thing that I'm about to say applies to Call of Duty but I'm not sure if it applies to all Xbox games or PS3 games or but I know that it records in 60 FPS and I know in a lot of render settings and capture settings for PBR, intensity shuttle, dazzles, all of them the frame rate they record in is 30 frames per second FPS. When actually if you're recording on card and probably all Xbox games it's actually 60 FPS it plays in. So you know obviously you would want to play in 60 frames per second, well record, because it's twice as smooth. So if you haven't already uh, hop over to your PVR settings or your intensity shuttle settings or you know what your capture settings, your capture source settings, and change the frame rate from 30 to 60, and uh, change your frame rate on all your Vegas's and everything you use to 60 FPS because it's twice as smooth. The file size will be a bit bigger, but you know you're getting a lot, a lot more smoother. So if you're going to put this in with your clips, you know, for a montage. You want this to be 60 FPS as well, because you know you want it to be just this smooth. You don't want it jittering around. So uh, here, you just want to change it from 30 to 60 FPS frames per second. But what this, you know, what this also does is I'm gonna go with this to let's say 120. What this also does is uh, it will change the length. It won't, you know, change it down here in the number of frames but it changes the frames per second obviously so now there's 60 frames every second so here there's only 2 seconds worth of my intro 120 frames is 60 you know because 60 is multiple of 120 so you've only got 2 seconds where if it was 30 fps you'd have 4 seconds because that would be 30 frames per second so it's 31 60 2 seconds 93 seconds 124 so what you you just want to bear that in mind, especially if you're doing, you know, you're changing your settings now midway through a project. So you might want to just leave it for 30 just for the moment, and then on all your new ones, just make sure you set it to a 60 FPS, and remember to double the frame rate you, the number of frames you put in, then then you actually want. And just bear that in mind, because a lot of people get carried away with the time scheme in a Cinema 4D, because it doesn't have, you know, a set time. It just goes through frames. So if you've got 60 frames per second, every 60 frames there's a second. So if you go doing your full animation in 40 frames, or the default 90 frames, and you go do it all at 60 FPS, your intro is going to be one and a half seconds. Which, you know, is really going to be messed up. And then when you stretch it in Vegas, you're going to lose that smoothness of the, uh, of the 60 FPS. So thanks, that's all of, that's all of, you know, all my tips on that sort of thing, if you like. Uh, Please again sub to my new channel. Uh, I'll be uploading intros, tutorials, tips, edits, especially, and uh, you know, gameplays, commentaries, just other stuff here on the side. Really, intro, speed art, competitive gameplays, edits, and commentaries. Big GFX.
so please yeah go and sub my new channel thanks guys studio house